Welcome to day seven. This is the last day of the challenge and today we are going to be talking about uh, work. So today we're at the challenge is to tidy up your workspace. You may be working in an office uh, or maybe if you don't have an office, I'm pretty sure we all have to deal with paper, with receipts, with some sort of like stuff. And I'm pretty sure you have like a desk at home or maybe an area where you work on your computer. So today is about making that space functional. So having a desk doesn't have to be uh, all clean up for everybody, like uh, we all function on a different way. But I want you to think about, are you experiencing a specific frustration right now? Are you having too many pens, uh, too many papers on the desk? Uh, do you feel overwhelmed when you go into the office uh, or you sit on your desk because uh, things are not organized according to what organizing needs to you? If that's the case, I invite you today to do that challenge. We are working with a lot of clients and people, we have found that by setting up the physical space first, that will set you up for success and that will give you the energy and motivation to keep going through the decluttering and organizing process. So we always try to leave the paper till the end because paper takes a long time. So I don't want you to get caught in deciding about all the pieces of paper that you have on your desk, if, you, if, that, if that's the case. I want you to take all the papers, put them aside and I want you to clean your working space, okay? By doing that, you are allowing yourself space and time to be more productive. Once you have that clear desk, once you feel comfortable, try to display the things that you love. If you have pens that you love, uh, uh, a little picture, uh, any items that bring you joy, make sure that you display them somewhere that you can see them, and then that will allow you to feel better. And then once you have that space set up, that's when you can dive into, okay, let's go through the paper and let's go through the different things. If you have a thousand pens, for example, that's a good time to put them all in front of you and then try to set a limit or say, okay, realistically, I need six pens, 10 pens, two pens. I need a black and a red and a green. Whatever is the case, try to set a limit and then have your favorite pens on the desk. All the rest, you don't have to let them go if you still like them, but put them in a Ziploc bag, put them somewhere else and put them in a drawer and then you can shop from home when you need pens. Same with uh, all the office supplies that you may have. You don't have to keep office supplies on top of your desk. You can have them hidden and then when you need them, you can retrieve them. So think about how you use your space, what you need on a daily basis and try to make things convenient. So I hope this challenge helps you be more productive and good luck.